<laughs> we uh, we came out to this uh, this beach, and it turns out these lilies are in season, and they're just they're everywhere. It's beautiful. There's a little creek here that runs from up here all the way down to the beach there, and there's just a ton of lilies. All right, y'all. It's a little bit windy. Hopefully, you can hear me all right. Um, here in Carmel, next to Monterey, going to be doing a little fishing, obviously, but the weather is terrible. Small craft advisory, 20 mile per hour winds. Um, I'll try and look for some sand fleas with the net, but I got the surf rod out. If I don't find any sand fleas, I'll throw in an SP minnow and try and cast into the wind. But over there, it looks a little calmer. So uh, instead of trying to battle battling these waves, we're gonna go over there a little bit and hopefully catch a fish, but we'll see. I still don't own waders, so the shoes are coming off. I'm not gonna get my pants wet today. I won't do it. All right, guys, unfortunately, I couldn't find any sand fleas. So I've tied on the uh, SP minnow here. I'm not sure if there's stripers in this area, the surf is incredibly high. The wind's blowing a little high too, a little much. A little, a lot of wind, guys. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Let's get fishing. I got like uh, probably 30 minutes and then we're gonna go on a hike. So let's see if I can catch a fish in 30 minutes. I'll probably walk down this way and then walk back a little bit more, but man, my feet are gonna get cold fishing like this. I was hoping the fish would bait. <laughs> All right. First cast. My pants are getting wet, guys. I told myself I wasn't getting my pants wet today. Cause I gotta go on a hike after this. Only like a mile, but still. I gotta walk a mile with wet pants. All right, guys, I got an epically terrible idea. I'm all the way over here next to the rocks and uh, it's a little calmer. So let's see if I can snag my lure and lose it. All right, guys, we're out here at Point Lobos. What is this? Is this a national park or is this just like... It's a state preserve. It's a state preserve. And uh, we're walking over to where? Bird Island? Something? Bird Island Something like that. Grove. It's only like a mile long. Oh, look at that beach guys that is a beautiful beach especially for northern california kind of looks like a hawaii beach but uh quite a walk down and there's no fishing so really what's the point of the beach if you can't fish it Here's some seals. Don't know if you guys can tell. All right, guys, we made it to like a little tide pool area. We'll, we'll look around for 10 minutes, see if there's anything interesting.
find abalone? Oh, look! They're everywhere. No Here's some limpids. A bunch of limpids. Some small sea anemones. A bunch of uh, little hermit crabs here. All along. Hermit crabs everywhere. A variety of seaweed. Alright guys, found some fish. They're very well camouflaged. Uh, I think I spooked them. There's one right here on top of this rock. You see it? Oh yeah. Let's see if he'll move. It's really coming in. Let's uh yeah, let's move on back a little bit, huh? Whoa, look, we were just standing right there. <laughs> I guess the tide's coming in right now. Check out this tree, what in the world? Have you guys ever seen a tree that looked like this? I mean, crazy. It's like, it's shaped like an ax. It's a whale, this is the tip of the whale and that's the tail. Uh, it kind of looks like a whale, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see it, look, it's a whale. Yeah, yeah, definitely a whale, guys. All right guys, out at Carmel Beach today. Just got a high-low rig with uh, some size two hooks on it and uh, two ounces of weight. I'm just gonna throw on some shrimp that I got from Safeway. Got four shrimp, so once I'm out of shrimp, we're gonna have to either switch it to a, a lure or call it a day, because uh, didn't want to buy too much bait there. All right, y'all, I am terrible at reading the beach. So if any of you guys can give me suggestions on if I'm reading this correctly or not, please do so. Um, there's a sandbar out here. So I'm gonna go step on the sandbar. My feet are going to be very, very cold, I believe. Walk out into the sandbar a little more. Oh no, why? Every time I get soaked. Oh gosh, all right. Why? Why do I do this to myself? Man, we got waves crashing behind us, in front of us, towards us. The water just keeps getting higher. I gotta get out of here. I am so wet already. Check this out, guys. My pants are soaked. Look at this, guys. My first ever surf perch. I didn't even know it was on the line. Look at this. Beautiful little fish here. Come on, work with me, buddy. These are kind of like bluegill, if you guys are familiar with bluegill, but uh, you kind of hold them the, the same way. They have sharper spines. This guy's a little feisty. They also have little teeth, but on this guy, whoops. Oh. Look at that. Brush them off a little bit, get some, get some photos. Look at that. All right, let's let this guy go. Be free. 
Whoops, sorry dude, he'll be all right. All right, y'all, that's all for this little uh, Carmel trip. You know, unfortunately it was a little rough. We were able to catch just one fish the entire weekend, but I'm happy to have at least caught one and uh, hopefully I'll go on another trip soon. All right guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching my 365 day fishing challenge. If you want to watch from the beginning, just click up here. If uh, you want to see the latest video I have posted, click up here. And as always, have a good day.